everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the new Raptodon Hunters or Chargers depending on which way you've built them but you get this dual kit in the Seraphon army set which lets you build Hunters or Chargers and I've got some Hunters here as denoted by the spears rather than the big clubby things. And well, we're gonna be painting them up today. A massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending me through these as part of that set. They look absolutely fantastic and very characterful, very cool. And whilst they might look a little bit complicated, they actually aren't that hard. So with all that in mind, we're gonna jump in and start painting them. They've been primed in Wraithbone. And the color we're gonna be using first is Seraphim Sepia. And we're gonna start on the Raptodons themselves and then we'll paint the skinks afterwards. So we'll get these up to a war hipster battle ready and then we'll get the skinks done as well. So we're going to be using that Seraphim Sepia and we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the Raptodon's body up to the reins just there. We want to get this all over just like this. Now what we want to do on this arm is just bring it down to the crease there like that. That's as far as you need to go down on the arm. Whereas for the rest of it, you want to get this all over the top. And similarly on the leg, I'm going to bring it down to the jewellery. So with that Seraphim Sepia all applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a roughly four parts Griffhound Orange to one part Contrast Medium Mix. And we're going to be applying this over the top of a number of different details in a couple of different ways. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply this over top of all of our feathers and spines just around here on the neck. Like so. And we're gonna bring this over the top of the head, just leaving the ridge of the Raptodon's head. I'm gonna bring it down over the tip of the nose, just like that sort of thing. I'm going to take this under the chin as well, just like that. I'm going to do this on the other side as well, just so we don't get any kind of weird drying lines. Like that we want to do the rest of the feathers as well however what we also want to do with this is on the tail back here we want to apply this over the top of the entire thing like this we want to bring this down all the way around do the underside. Like that. Then, on the main body of the Raptodon, this is the line we're basically going to follow. You see this crease here in the 
in the in the in the flesh. So what we want to do is we're going to start in halves. So we're going to apply Griff Hound Orange like this, coming down like that. However, we're going to wash the brush here, and then we're going to lift off. paint on the underside. Like that, so we're getting a sort of blended effect out into our seraphim sepia layer. Along that ridge line. Then I'm gonna go and grab some more. I'm going to do the same thing up to behind the skink's leg. So we're going to go like this, bring it up to that ridge or muscle, as it probably is. Go past it just a little bit. Wash the brush. and then absorb the paint. So again, we're getting that blended effect. Like that. And then, we've just got one more area to do this on. This is around the other side of the skink's leg. Got all of this section like that. And again, we're going to come down to that muscle line. Go past it just a little bit. Wash the brush. Absorb the paint so we're getting that bit of that blended effect. Then we just need to go in here, clean up these feathers on this side, and then we need to do the same thing again on the other side. So, with that done, we then take a roughly two to one mix of Griff Hound Orange and Magma Droth Flame, and we're going to apply this to create an even more kind of vibrant orange. Like this. I'm going to go all over the tail. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down the middle of the tail. Like that. Add a little bit more in there, wash the brush, and then once again just smooth out our transitions. We're just looking to reinforce the orange along the top. Just do the same thing again around here. Once again, we're going to add this over the shoulder, wash the brush once more, and then absorb it. And we'll do it once again on this side. Like that, wash the brush. And then what we're going to do on the feathers on the neck is we're 
also going to apply this like this. But we don't need to go over the top of the head again. We just want to get this on these sections here like this. So with that done, we've got our orange and it's looking pretty fab. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Griff Charger Grey and we're going to apply this over the top of the legs. Or specifically the feet. What we're going to do is we're going to apply it all over the leg like this. And you come all the way around. Don't want to forget about the inside leg. Okay, like that. We're going to apply this over the top of the arm. Like this. And then we're going to bring it up onto the seraphim sepia a little bit. Like that. I'm going to wash the brush and then we're just going to smooth out the transition just there so it gives that fade into the seraphim sepia into the griff charger grey. You want to make sure you do the inside of the arm as well. Like that. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to use the Seraph Griff Charger Grey over the top of the face, including that ridge line. Like that. And you want to kind of push the contrast paint into the top. So you get that nice little shadow under the under the brow. I'm going to do the underside as well. Just like that. You want to do this on both sides. And so with that Griff Charger Grey applied, we're then going to take some Coelia Green Shade and we're going to apply this over the top. The feet. Like that. And we're going to apply this over the top of the fingers. Just like that. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this over the top of the spines. On the hands. And on the head. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to use this in two different ways. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of all of the talons on both the hands and the feet. Like 
think of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some of the markings on the head. So what we need to do here is we need to essentially draw a line that comes from here all the way down to the bottom. So round about there, about three quarters of the way. Like that. And then we need to block in the rest of it. Do this on both sides of the head. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Caraber Crimson and we're going to use this to shade over the top of our Flesh Terror's red bits. We're also going to apply this over the top of the hairs on the arms. We just want to tint them with a little bit of red. Just like that. And then over the top of the head, I'm going to apply this over the top of both the brown and the red bits. Like that. So, with that now done, we're then going to take some black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of the spines here. On the top of the head. I'm going to bring them down into the ones on the neck and then we're going to apply this over the top of the spines just there on the top of the back and all the little hairs down the center of the spine. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the straps, the ropes, the eyeballs, and the teeth. And so with that now done, we're going to take some thin down Retributor armor and we're going to apply this over the top of pretty much all of our remaining details on the mount. We're not going to have gold skinks, although there will be gold on the skinks. Don't worry about that just yet. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on our Raptodon and it looks pretty fantastic. As you can see, we've done the same thing on the other three that we had at the beginning of the video. There they are, all three of our boys together. So it is now time to move on to the skink. We could shade the gold now, but we're going to leave that until we've got more of the gold. 
which of course we're going to have on the skink. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some frost heart here and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the skink's flesh and scales. And with that frost heart all applied, we're then going to take some Storm Fiend. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the scales. Just like this. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take two colours, Yandin Yellow and Griffhound Orange, and we're going to apply these over the top of the fin. We're going to start with the Yandin Yellow. We're going to layer it on there. A little thickly by accident, that's all right. Then we're going to take a little bit of Griffhound Orange, a little more than that. We're going to apply this over the top, wash the brush, have a little bit more and Yellow. And create a little blended effect was the top of the fin. So with that all done, we're now going to take some Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this to paint in all of the little straps and things. Our skinks. Like that. It doesn't matter that we've got some blue on there, the cycle brown will cover it right over. Like that. And we're going to apply this over the top of any wood. So in the musician's case, it's going to include the horn. But in our banner's case, it will include the half of the banner. And on our normal guys, it'll include the spears as well. So with that done, this is where we're at with our Raptodons. They're looking pretty awesome. And there's not actually all that much left to do, believe it or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start charging through these last few bits and what we're going to do is we're going to take two colours, Bad Moon Yellow and Striking Scorpion Green. And we're going to use these at the same time on all of the feathers. Now we've got the banner here with all of these feathers. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with Bad Moon Yellow. And load up the brush with it. And we're going to apply this over the top of the feathers. Like that. And I'm going to do all three of these ones just here at once. There we go. Then we're going to wash the brush. Grab some striking scorpion green. I'm going to apply this over the top of our feathers, like that. And then going to wash the brush. And then we're just going to blend the two colors together by feathering away at the transition point.
just like that. I'm going to do this on every feather that we have in our possession. And so with that now done, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to apply this over the top of the rope on the banner up here. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of things like the fletchings on the spears. The claws. Their teeth. And the spearheads. So with that done, we're now going to take some thinned down Retributor armor. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of our remaining details. So with that now done, the last base coat we're going to apply is some Flash Kits Yellow. I'm going to apply this over the top of the eyes. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, on our three Raptodon Hunters. So it is now time to add some shades, or specifically one shade, which is of course going to be some Gilliman Flesh. And we'll be applying this over the top of all of the gold. So with that, our Raptodons are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and they're looking pretty fly. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them to the next level, and we're gonna do this by adding some highlights. Now the first one we're gonna add is some Screaming Skull, and we've got it on our dry brush, because we're gonna be applying this dry brush over the top of the bodies of our Raptodons. So we wanna be very gentle here. We don't wanna like fully go for it. We just wanna catch the edges. Just like this. What we also want to do is we want to do this over the top of the black straps back there. The black going down the middle of their bodies. We're going to do this over the top of the muscles. You get right in there. I'm going to bring it down over the black of the straps here. Over the top of all of our hairs, like this. And if we're really gentle, get this really pleasant effect on those black straps because Screaming Skull is an absolutely wonderful dry brush. So with that all done, what we're going to do then is we're going to take some Ulthuan Grey and we're going to use this to highlight our Griff Charger Grey and with the green shade areas.
So with that now done, we're then gonna take some Thinned Down Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm gonna use this to highlight our red fins. Like that sort of thing. And similarly up here, we're gonna come all the way along And so with that Evil Sun Scarlet applied, we then take some Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to apply this to the tips. Like that. And the little dots. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Dawnstone. We're going to use this to highlight all of our remaining black details. So we've got areas such as the claws on our skinks. And on our raptodons. We've got the teeth. Like that. We've also got the eye. What we're going to do with the eyes is we're going to do a circle. So with that now done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Administratum Grey I'm going to add a little spot highlight in the top corner of the eyes to the tips of the teeth and the claws. Just like this. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down Baharoth blue. We're gonna use this to, two, to do two different things. One is to relay our skink's skin. So we're just gonna apply this all over the top. Just like this, making them nice and bright. Just like that. And then similarly on the skink, we're also going to use this Baharoth blue to add a couple of little highlights to all the scales. And so with that Baharoth blue all applied, we're now going to take some thin down Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to do a relayer and a highlight of all our gold details. So what we want to do is on our wide open spaces like this shield, we're going to do a full relayer here, just avoiding any of the recesses. Whereas for all of our smaller bits, like this bit of trim here on the shield, just going to pick out the edges.
with that liberator gold all applied, we're then going to take some flesh tear as red and apply this over the top of any gems. And so with that done, just to finish them off, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny little bit of Black Legion. I'm going to add a little dot of it towards the front of each of the eyes. Just like that. And so with the bases complete, our Raptodon Hunters are now finished and I think they look absolutely fantastic. A really, really cool addition, classic schemes making their way back onto new models and it's a great time to be alive as a Seraphon fan, which I now thoroughly am. I'm not going to be around the bush <laughs> about it. We definitely have a big old army of these guys and I'm going to paint as many of these things as come my way as possible, including a bunch more. Starborn? If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.